What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you a few lat stretches and some smashing techniques you can use pretty easily and I've been doing them pretty frequently because I find that for me personally I get very wound up uh, in my lats all up and back, back here basically and then my serratus up into my actual armpit uh, heavily due to the fact that when I'm sleeping I'll turn to my side and my arm might collapse over or if I'm typing or on a computer or something my arms are always in um, if I'm eating, arms are bent, of course, in, everything tight. So I'm going to show you a few methods on how you can stretch, smash, and open up the lats uh, and really just open up your overall chest, uh, you know, rib cage. It just makes it a lot easier for you to breathe uh, and it allows you to perform the movements like the bench press and the deadlift significantly better if you open up your lats prior to doing those movements. So let's get right into this. So what you're going to notice here is a softball. I actually showed this in a previous video as well. I think it's really important to either be using a lacrosse ball, a softball, a supernova, whatever it is you have, I think it's important to use something similar and roll out on it. So right now I'm going to show you just a quick way that you can roll out your lats. Personally, I like to use a bench. However, you can use a chair. It doesn't really matter. Anything with a flat surface that you can kind of kneel over and you're going to see right now what I'm going to do. Basically, I want to find the area where I can sort of get to my serratus. I can get to the insertion point of my uh, lats. And the lats kind of go all the way down to, to the lower back. Uh, basically, I'm going to work my way all in this region with the, uh, sorry, with the, the softball here. Uh, and then we're going to get into some stretching techniques afterwards. I think it's really important to start by opening up uh, by breaking up all the dense mus muscle tissue that's kind of gotten wound and bound up together uh, using something like this and then afterwards you go into something that's really going to stretch you out uh, and we're going to get into some of those. So for now, this is the first step. sensitive area. Um, it's quite painful if you hang out there for a long period of time. Just sort of get the job done and loosen up and then go into a stretch. And sometimes you can come back to the softball or cross ball method, uh, smash more and then go back into the stretch. You kind of want to do this a few sets um, or do it like a circuit before getting into your training. Uh, and you can even literally do it after your training. Uh, but when it comes to after your training, I would recommend more just doing the stretches. You don't necessarily have to use uh, the smashing technique because you've already uh, torn apart the muscle during your training session so there's not much need to go around and uh, smash it up even more so let's get to the next movement so now we're going to get into some stretching and mostly just hanging I think it's one of the best things you can incorporate into your repertoire into your uh, pre-workout routine or even if you just get up in the morning just try and hang for a little bit if you've got somewhere in your house like a door frame uh, you don't need a squat rack, um, you, don't need, you don't need a lot of stuff really, you just got to improvise. You just need somewhere where you can hang and try to try to get a personal record, a PR for how long you're hanging for. Uh, personally, I've gone up to like 45 seconds now and I'm trying to continuously improve that. Uh, but basically you want to maintain some tension while you hang uh, and basically just let all of your lats, <laughs> all of your lats stretch out uh, as you're, you're hanging from the position. So I'm going to show you that right now. stretching with bands and using band tension and uh, you can also use weights when it comes to stretching and side bending which you're going to see in a moment here and I'm going to show you actually a variation on the side bend and I'm going to use some weight as well uh, just to give you two options for that uh, we're going to start using a band uh, and I'm going to show you how that goes right now so basically I've got some bands here you don't necessarily need one of these really fancy ones or I don't know if you call that fancy, but just any sort of large band will do. Um, 
I have a ton, but I don't need to bring them all in here. Just, just buy the rubber band and, and try to follow along and, and do this sort of movement. Basically, the focus is we're going to stretch out the arm and allow the, all this to get stretched out right down into the lat. And I'm going to kind of turn my body outwards and, and allow that stretch to really come through right now. Now we're going to get into some variations on side bending, which I just discussed a moment ago, but this time we're going to use weight. So we're going to do weighted side bends instead of banded side bends. It's just a different type of resistance, a different form, and uh, you know, it depends on what you got available to you. If you got weight, use weight. If you got bands, use those bands. So here I've got a 30 pound kettlebell. Basically I'm going to go into a similar position I was just in, uh, showing you with the side bands with the band, but what I'm going to do is allow the weight to carry me over uh, in that same position. So uh, let's get this thing kicked off. You want to be very cautious how you bring this up. You don't want to hurt yourself, especially if it's a heavier weight. So, you know, treat it with respect. You want to spread your legs pretty far apart, more than shoulder width. You kind of want to bring this up, arm up like you're pressing. Again, keep tension, stay, keep a, a pretty decent tight core, don't fold over. Straight. And then you want to slowly bend. It's good if you have a kettlebell because you can let it sort of swing. And then you want to look up at the kettlebell. That's one side. Same thing on the other. Slow and controlled, bringing it up. Keep it tight core. Press. That's a side bend variation using weights. Now this is one of my favorite stretching and hanging techniques. If you're lucky enough to have Olympic rings, then I highly suggest you use them frequently. And it's just another variation to uh, the hanging as we had done earlier off of the squat rack, or you can do it off of a door frame, or you can do it off of really anything. Even if you don't have rings, you can just find a tree and then hang something from it and then just get a good grip on that. Uh, and, and a cool thing about hanging from rings and just hanging in general it's not only a lat stretch, uh, but it actually helps with decompression. So that's why I partially like using uh, the Olympic rings is because it really decompresses the spine, opens me up, uh, and we're going to try some hanging right now. That's it, that's all you need to do. If you did static hanging, you didn't do the ballistic style, which is where you swing around like I just did, you basically just want to try and hang there for as long as possible uh, and keep a good position and just allow that stretch to really set in. Uh, but that's pretty much it, that's what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll catch you again next time.